Tom? Yes. Does the name Francesca Wiggles mean anything to you? Don't bring it up. Patrick Wiggles? No. Jeremy Wiggles? Closer. Tony Muffin? Perhaps. Tallulah Pastry? Maybe. Peter Heft? Is that Heft with an H? Yes. Oh, uh, then no. No, okay, no. Daisy Chewitz? No. Just... So none of them mean anything, do they? As a collective, yes. But not... Not individually. Not no. individually. Just going back to Francesca Wiggles, does that... No. No, you've not had any run-ins with... The Wiggles. As a family. I know. Okay. But nothing... No. Okay, no. fine. Have you got a favourite nightlight? Yes. I used to have a purple and green dinosaur nightlight. Yes? Is it Barney the dinosaur, was it? or? No. No, it wasn't. No, no it was a triceratops. A triceratops yes. night, nightlight, okay. But that's gone now. It's gone, is it? I got a new favourite in town. And who's that? Who's your, what's your new favourite nightlight? Um... My new favourite nightlight is this one. Yep. As you see. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Yeah. It's like a sort of small... No, the nightlight. Yeah. Um, medium sized, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, medium. Yeah, we'll, call, yeah, we'll say medium, yeah? yeah. Uh, medium kind of aubergine shaped... Um, kind of custardy in colour. Custardy colour. What, you just put that in... Where's the nearest... It's, Sockets in here. It's kind of hard to find some. I know. I've I've placed my all my furniture in front of the sockets just for ease. Yeah, for ease of access. Mm. Um, so what you just put it in there and then you you flick that on every night and that sort of helps you get to sleep, does it? Yeah. Well, that's great. Does yeah. it have a name? This new nightlight or? Um, Solange. Okay. Yeah, Solange. Fine. All right. All right. Fine. So the nightlight. Yes. Solange. Okay. Fine. Lovely. So. Um, because it usually takes me so long to get to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, I'm wearing a very enchanting tabard today, Tom. It's dark brown, oh. which is perfect for me today as it's hiding the blood. Sorry. Yeah. The blood on... Yeah. Yeah. Do you think what you're wearing today is appropriate for the podcast? Like, you came in uniform last time, you had your little sailor hat on, you had your, you had everything mm -hmm. to wear, but today you've gone a bit more in a different direction. Do you want yeah. to just take us through what you... Avant-garde. You... Yeah, do you want to just take us through what you're wearing and why you think that's, that's appropriate? Yeah. Well, there's... Um... There's a, like a misused clothes shop near me. Misused? Mm. When it's been misused. Okay. Like not used in a traditional sense. What, it gets put there or you buy it for the misuse? Well, some people might buy it for the misuse and then give it to the shop. It's a charity shop. Is it, okay, it's a charity shop, is it? Okay, fine. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's what you're wearing, is it? Well, I'm wearing items from this. You're not shop. wearing the shop, are you? No. That'd be bloody ridiculous, wouldn't yeah, it? No, that'd just be a <laughs> yeah, be mad. shop front on my yeah, on your tor on your on, tors on your torso. torso. So yeah, so just just talk us through what you've got there. So that's um, it's like a little sort of hat. Yeah, it's the size of a yarmulke, but not the shape. No, it's hexagon. Look. Yeah, yeah. Look. So like a sort of. Hexagonal skull cap you're wearing. Yes. Fine. Non-religious. Non, yeah, secular. Yeah. Uh, skull cap. 
and then that sort of goes down to your beard and you've got like little um little bits of um uh, of cotton in your beard hmm. little strings of cotton just so is that intentional or is that yes yes it's a very intricate method of um of facial hair decor yeah and that's just cotton in the beard is it yeah accidentally just a bit of cotton fine yeah. And then on the torso, you've got like a little, um, like a little uh, polo neck. Yeah. Well, it's sort of two in one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as you can see, one side's different than the other. That was my work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then your tits are out. Yeah. I thought I'd. You just cut holes so you can. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. And then just nothing on the bottom half? No. <laughs> no, no, okay. Well, it's, it's your house. Obviously, yeah. It's your house. You yeah, know, you sat you, on my bed. Yeah, you know, what happens, happens. Just so I can ask, is it for one major incident or is it a sort of series of minor offences that you're no longer allowed in the city of Leeds um because going into it you you knew full well that she was allergic but I, you, yeah. you still felt the need to do it I know so there's that sort of premeditated sense to it that you knew what you were doing and that you know, so so is that is that the big thing really that means you're not allowed there, or was it lots of well, is it little yeah, dribs and drabs over yeah, there? Yeah, dribs of drib, dribs of drabs. Dri- dribs and drabs. Yeah, um, I didn't go to Leeds intending to commit this affair, not affair, but um, this crime. Yep, but it just happened, did it? Yeah. Yeah, parts of it were, were planned. I like, mean, you were dressed as a peanut anyway, so you yeah, thought in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's yeah. run at, let's run at this woman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, I don't use, um, you know, pamphlets and leaflets. I just you, you throw spray. you throw you just throw yourself out there covered in peanut dusting. Yeah. Sort of get the word out. Yeah. How is your job, by the way? Is it? Uh, I I quit. Okay, fine. All right, fine. So you're moving house soon, aren't you? Yes. And so you've been rooting around in your loft, you've been trying to just make space for everything, you've been trying to make sure you've got everything in the, where it needs to be, and you yeah. found this book, haven't you? I have, yeah. Yeah, what's it called? Um, Last Chance for Survival. Last Chance for Survival. And in, it's... Um, and in brackets, it's just blank. It's just blank. So, Last Chance for Survival... And then just nothing. Yeah, we were sort of nodding our heads there to sort of indicate something was going to be said, something was yeah. going to be said, and there wasn't anything to be said. It's not there. So last chance survival. Um, okay, well that so, so here it is. It's called last chance survival, and then there's no brackets are out there, is there? Um, and it's by Richard Spaffer. Yeah. Um, and he's known for his adventure books. He is. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, if anyone's. Could, um... So if if anyone's if anyone please get in touch if you if you've got a spaffer, uh, you know at home on your shelf. But this is um this is quite an old one. This is from the eighties, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think it was my my uncle's spaffer. Yeah, he was a huge spaffer fan. He wasn't was. He, he, couldn't, he was. Couldn't yeah. put down a spaffer. Um, so it's a, an adventure book. So uh, we thought we'd try and go through it. We try and have a yeah. little adventure in this. So um, it's it's the type of book where you reach a page, uh, uh, reach a page, and. Uh, it gives you options of, okay, so of what to do. Um, so, you, so, so it says it's the kind of book you reach a page. It gives you options of what to do, and, and then you have to jump. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Um, it was it, and you have to jump to a random page, sure. like like ninety two. Yeah. So should we start in the the first page because that's probably where you start, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that'd be weird if you started in the middle. Um, 
So, okay. Oh, it so, says, uh, start in the middle. Oh, is that what it says, is it? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, okay. Okay, here we go. So, you awake in a cavern. It is very dark. You feel inside your pockets. You have a lighter. Do you, A, light the lighter? As in, ignite the lighter yeah. to, to yeah. get some light in the in the cavern. Do you, B, just feel around with your hands and try and get around that way? Mm. I pro- the way I said that, I implied there was going to be a C. Yes, you because did, yeah. It, yeah. But well, no, there's, there's, there's just, no it's just A or B. So do you, do you feel around with your hands or do you light the lighter, Tom? Which do you do? I mean, I would probably just light the lighter, but something's telling me to feel with my hands. And that takes you to page 38. So if we just flick over to page... Yeah, I'm going to fill with my hands. Page 38. Okay, page 38. So if I give you that... Go on, where are we now? What, what, okay. So you're feeling around the cave, the cavern with your hands. Um, you have ignited the lighter. Well, no, you no, you haven't. Oh, no. No, you're on the wrong... No, you, oh, yeah, sorry. No, it's... Yeah, all right, this one. Um, you feel around with your hands. That's right. Yeah. There are... Two large mounds. You feel to the left. There is a dusty table. You can feel it. Dust all over the table. Yeah, it must be, du- dust. Must be old. Old dusty table. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you feel the edge of a picture frame. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, and it's quite. Quite smooth to the touch, but also dusty. You very dusty area yeah. um, in this cavern. Do you a explore the mounds? Do you b explore the table, or do you c explore the picture frame? Oh, I think I think we better explore the picture frame because that could yeah. be that could be a that could be a safe a, or, a safe or, or a, a, or a, a hot, trap or a way out. Yeah, of surviving. Right, okay. That's. That's page six thousand and four. Spaffle was huge on pictures, so he that's was, yeah. yeah. He did a book oh. on it, spaff, spaffing on pictures. He did, yeah. 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 Let's see if I've got that one upstairs as well. Right there, we are. Lovely. So, okay, you feel along the picture. Oh, and your hand touches a switch. <gasps> touches it. Touches the yes. switch. So you flick the switch. Okay. And the picture springs open <gasps> to reveal a can of pineapples. Wow, I wasn't expecting well, that. Well, I wasn't either. Um, so, do you, A, light the lighter to see to inspect the tin of pineapples more closely? Mm-hmm. Do you, B, throw the pineapples into the darkness for no particular reason? Or do you, C, no, it's just A and B, I, again, I... Built, I built that up. Yeah, I was, I was the way I was saying more. that. Yeah, yeah. So, do you want to throw the the can of pineapples? Yeah, I'll the... throw the can of pineapples, please. All right. Well, that puts you on one hundred and three. So, if I just flick all the way back there, if I just give you that okay. there, one hundred and three. Oh yes. Yep. Um, so it's just it's just it's, it's giving me some instructions of how to say the next bit. Ting 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 ting. ting. Was that the pineapples, is yes, it? That must be the tin of pineapples. Yeah. Um, the sound of the tin of pineapples sounds like it's dropping down some stairs. Oh, okay. Wow. So there's wow. some stairs out of this, yeah. this cavern. Um, so do you, A, light the lighter Yeah. to light your way so to you go can down, get down the stairs? The stairs. Yeah. yeah. Or do you, B, uh, slide down the stairs... On your bottom. Well, you know what? We've neglected the lighter for quite a few yeah, we have. times now. So I think I'm going to... I think I'm just going to slide down the stairs on my ass. Yeah. Tom. So what page is that? Oh, that takes you to number one. Oh, okay. That's great. That's great. Okay, cool. Yeah. You want to just give me that? I'll yeah. read that. Oh, you slide down the stairs on your bottom. You stand up at the bottom of the stairs with a wet ass. All right. Yeah, yeah, with a wet ass. With a wet ass, and 
Yeah, it turns out you were not supposed to use the lighter because mm-hmm. that there's like a panel on the wall. It says <clears> if you'd have <throat> used the lighter, that would have ignited the, the gas, the noxious gases in, in, in the, the cavern. cavern. Um, and that would have burned you alive, which is bad. It's very bad. That's bad. Um, so now you're walking down a corridor and there are two doors. One of the doors says crunch and the other door says nuggets. Do you go down A, the door that says crunch, B, the door that says nuggets? Which you, one? You did it again. Again, I again, I don't know what I'm doing here. So do you just want to use crunch or nuggets? Um, I'll go nuggets, please. All right, cool. That's 90, 91, I think. So I'll put you okay. on there. Thank you. I've pushed open the door that says nuggets. Right, okay, yeah. And there is... The American cereal um, with the sponsor Captain Crunch. Okay, yeah, ca- ca- yeah, Captain, Captain Crunch. Crunch. Yep. Um, there are six boxes of Captain Crunch on the most slippery table you've ever seen. How slippery? Extremely. Wow. Yeah. Six. Six of them, right? Six yeah. boxes of Captain Crunch. You mean? I mean, I was expecting something to do with nuggets, buying the nugget door, and now... I've gone through the nugget door and there's something to do about crunch. I'm yeah. quite annoyed. Well, maybe if you went through the crunch door, there would be nuggets. I know, but I can't go back. Well, you can't. No, you've got to keep moving forward. If you want, if you want to get out and survive. Yeah, it, it's my lance chance of survival. Yeah. It's good that you remember the name of the book because I was really having trouble. Well, that's right. <laughs> yeah, it's right on the front. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So there's six boxes of Captain Crunch. Yeah. One is yellow. The rest are green. Okay, yeah. Do you A, go for the yellow one? Yeah. So go for, I mean, open up and see what's inside. Yeah, don't just like fight just, it. No, don't, don't just fight, lunge it. Lunge it, okay. Fine. Uh, B, go for the third green one. Okay. Or C. Oh, you're doing it as well, are you? There's no C. Sorry, yeah, no. I'm, uh, it's just A or B, is it? Rubbing off on me, sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. I just, yeah, I, yeah, I've gone through a breakup, so it's just... Okay. Well, you haven't really... I haven't picked one yet, so so what? Is it just it's B or B... A or B? So what? The so yellow box The yellow crunch, box or the third the, green the one third in? The third green one in. You can't, for some reason, okay. open up any other. Well, I'll go for the yellow one, I think. I mean, yeah? it's got to be yellow for a reason, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's a trap. Yeah, but maybe... It's not a trap. Maybe it's a double negative. Double negative. So, um, okay. Oh, yeah, that's, um, that sends you to page nine. Nine, okay. So, I'm on nine. Um, is it green box? Of... Oh, that's the yellow box. Is it the... You chose the yellow box. Did I? Mm. Okay, I'm struggling at this point. Yellow box. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, you open the yellow box. There is a toy inside the yellow box. Oh, good. It is a life-size action figure of Nelson Mandela, which is nice, isn't it? I wouldn't expect in a life-size well, I, figurine in a normal size. Well, you, I don't know how they got him in, but they, no. they got it in. So you take him out, and he's all right, isn't he? Yeah. He's fine. You know, he's good. He's, he's good, isn't he? So, um, yeah, so you've got, you just, you just, you got Nelson Mandela. You've got... A, on of, your side. On your side. Yeah. And that's... That's good, isn't it? That's really good, yeah. Yeah. If if you want someone next to you for your last chance of survival, it's going to be him, isn't it? Yeah, probably him or maybe uh, Rocky or... Um, yeah. or Bullwinkle. Or Fat Man Scoop. So you've got Nelson Mandela next to you. Do you, A, spend your last half hour of life discussing the great man's achievements? Mm-hmm. Or do you B, get him to, to kill him and eat him? Oh, I'll, I'll kill him and eat him. Please. Okay, right. Is yeah. there a C? Uh, no. 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 But that way, I, I kind of I thought I was doing right then because I said A or B, and yeah, I didn't you... make it sound like there was going to be a third one, did I? Yeah. No. That's no, good. The then. was on the B. It yeah. wasn't left in the air. It's good. It's quite, yeah. Do you know, that takes you to fifty nine. So if I put you on fifty nine. Okay. Right, fifty nine. You're halfway through the head. 
Oh, of Nelson, of, of Nelson Mandela. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. fine, yeah, fine. Uh, you're halfway through the head. You realise there is a gold coin in his lower left eye socket. Okay. You pluck out the coin. Right. And on either side, there is an identical picture of Trey Parker. Isn't he one of the uh, crea- so, crea- South, South Park? South yeah. Park. Okay. So there's some I- identical pictures of Trey Parker. On both sides? On both sides. So no heads or tails. Both heads. This is what I've been saying all along. But, um... You pluck it out of the eye socket. Um, and then you look to your left. And there is a, a, a slot in the wall. Okay. Do you A, put the coin in the slot, or do you B, carry on down... Eating. Chowing down on Mandela's flesh. Well, I might put the coin in the slot, to be honest. Okay. That takes you to 100. 100. Wow, that's a very impressive number, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Maybe... Sounds like the end. It does, isn't it? I mean, you did go to page six thousand, but you know what? Let's go. Let's just see mm. what this is. It does sound like the end, doesn't it? It does. Mm. It, I mean, it kind of sounds that number. Sounds kind nice of sounds and round. like it's like we've been sort of, you know, like like you've been reading for as long as you think you can get as much mileage out of a particular segment, and it's just sort of that. I know. It's come but, to its but in actual fact, like we've only done like six pages. No, that's no, crazy, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, you put the coin in the slot, and and you're dead. So that's just how it is, isn't it? So he didn't. He didn't survive, did we? No, that was our last chance as well. That was our, unless we read a book again. So you know, maybe next time we can do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good, isn't it? Well, you well, know, I'd... thank you for bringing that out. That's the, really um... appreciated. So the moral of the story is. Um, Don't just... eat Mandela. No, carry on chowing down. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, if you if you're gonna if you're gonna eat someone, make sure you do it right till the end. Yeah. And not just do a half-assed job. Find a coin. And, and die. Well, I think I really just have one last question to ask. Mm-hmm. Do you prefer laser printers or inkjet printers? Because um, inkjets are cheaper, aren't they? Yes. They but, are. You know, if you're changing the cartridges more often, it's a false economy, isn't it? Because you have to. You keep changing them. So I'm, I'm personally, I'm more of a laser printer fan. If you want a high quality print, you go with laser printer, don't you? You do, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's like Canon. Canon. Yeah, Epson. The, e- Epson has the big brand. It does when you yeah. think of printers. Um, but I've heard their customer satisfaction isn't that great compared to some of the other brands. You know, really? Hewlett Packard, Panasonic, that sort of thing. Where do you get, where do you get your printing done? Um, well, I just go to the library. You get it done there. Yeah, they... You don't have your own printer or anything. No, no. Okay, so I couldn't use, couldn't use that print printer. No, couldn't use your printer. And why do you want to use my printer? It's got some some stuff I need printing out. It's just a couple of couple of pages. Of what? Oh, just you know, um, some stuff on some uh, uh, information. Yeah, yeah. It's just you know, well, let's let's just call it information. Yeah. Let's just I you know. I mean, it's, it's not. It's none of my. It's none of your business. It's none of my business. It's none well, of the library's business. business. Well, it's for a friend. So just, um, you know, it's for a, a a friend in the government. So I'm just doing that for him. Are you? Um... Yeah. So, uh, so I can't. You can't use your printer then. No. No. All right. Fine. It's just kind of need to get this done quick. Um, Are you caught up in some sort of? No. No. Just you know, if any time I can. I could use use that. I just I'm under a lot of pressure at the minute, so if I can get that printed, that'd be great. What's your favourite colour from the MCYK colour index? Obviously, K standing for key, which is black. So yeah. magenta, cyan, yellow. Is there a fa- I, I like magenta personally. Do you? You're yeah, a, yeah, yeah. You strike me as a magenta man. Yeah, well, exactly. Magenta man is my my um my wrestling name. So have you got a favourite um favourite? <laughs> I what's the pink one? It's magenta. Oh, I can't take that, can I? No, it's already taken. It's, you can have cyan. It's blue, like a light blue. Oh, I do. Yeah, quite like blue. 
Yeah, you go for that one. Yeah, I like Scion, please. Yeah, Scion. Okay, cool. Well, we'll um. Okay. Well, that's good. Isn't it? that's nice? Yeah, it's good that we're on the same page. <laughs> All right, we'll leave that there then. <laughs> you know, because I've just got to go to the shop and pick up. Um, a new game for my Nintendo because I, I love a game that involves a, a, I love cartridges. I just need to um go to the uh, Vista shop. The Vista shop. Yeah. For Why? A, um, to get my new prints done. Of my camera. I. I'm off. I see you've got some tattoos there. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of ink. Um. I I needed to go to the hospital recently and have a scan. There's been a there's been a spate of copy cat killings in the area. Didn't you just prefer TV when it was just black and white? Yeah, yeah, I think I did, you know. I just I liked how everything was. Yeah, I like loads of old stuff. I love um I love old 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 music, old movies, old weapons. I'm a big I'm a big fan of canon. Um my two favorite uh TV programs were Peter Pan and Sonic the Hedgehog. And I, I actually made a new... Did you put the two of them together? Yeah, I and did. What, what was it? Was it uh, Panasonic? Panasonic, was it? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's funny you should say that, because um, you, you know, you've got your tattoos and that's great. I'm just I'm thinking of heading off to the uh, to the races. I'm going to the, uh, the Epsom Derby. Um, my, my, father's, my father's Italian. <laughs> is he? Your father's Italian, is he? Yeah, and what I always used to run away as a kid. He was like, Sonny! <laughs> is that what it was? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. It's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, uh, that's great that he was Italian. I, I, I had no idea, you know. When we all yeah. have a strange relationship with our parents, you know. Um, you know, uh, everyone does. In literature, famous difficulties in, <laughs> in literature. I mean... I tell you what, who, who lost his parents at a young age? Was yeah. that was that Harry Potter? You yeah, know, I did, loved yeah. him old old HP. like to print her. <laughs> her friend's very unattractive. I mean, if 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 she's a ten, she's a four. <laughs> Paper. <laughs> oh. Should we just leave that there then? Yeah. Yeah, fine. Alright, cool. <laughs>